So how do you feel the competition is going right now between you and Jake? I think it's going well. I think we're both doing some good things and definitely both things we can improve upon. I think we're just both together competing, improving, and just kind of building off each other. Since a lot of people here really never seen you play, what kind of quarterback are you? Yeah, I think it's funny. I mean, obviously, with media not being able to be in practices and last year not playing redshirt, and so I think it's funny everyone kind of tried to watch the high school film and kind of, what is this guy going to bring? Um, I think in high school, I definitely ran a lot of under center stuff, which is clear, and I think a lot of people want to say, you know, he's a passer kind of thing, but I think I can do equally well, you know, pass when I need to and, and definitely plays make plays with my feet when I have to do that. So I think I definitely do both, but I definitely want to say I'm, I'm probably a quarterback first and then, you know, making plays when I need to. What's different about you versus Jay? I mean, yeah, I mean, some, yeah, obviously he's, you know, pure size, you know, he's probably got me a little bit. He's got a big arm. And so I think definitely we do some things similar. I think definitely there's some things he does better, some things I do better. So I think in ways we're very similar, but in ways we are a little different too. What's it like, uh, I mean, Marcus is obviously still a young guy himself. Uh, it sounds like from the beginning of spring ball, he's made a point of becoming more of a vocal leader and, and more of a leader in general. What's it like learning from Marcus? I mean, it's been awesome, just him, uh, Dusty, even Brian when he was last year, they were all so helpful when he first came in. And I thought that was pretty cool and shocking actually because they came in, they helped you so much. And even me and Jake helped each other, which is awesome. And I think Marcus, I don't know if he notices it, but I think a coaching staff, us, other teammates definitely notice a difference from him this year than last year, being a whole year under his belt, having that kind of season he did, us winning the Fiesta Bowl, and then just the confidence and the kind of the more vocal leaders Cinder this year, I think it's been really, really good for him. Well, when we asked uh, Helfrich earlier in the spring ball what he's looking for out of the quarterbacks, especially you guys, you and Jay, his, his answer was improved. What do you think you've improved that? I think definitely that's probably the one and one most important thing that Helps going to want, all the coaches want, and what we want. So I think we both want to improve. And I think the biggest thing for, for myself has just been you know, last year, you know, being a freshman, me and Jake, you probably don't get as many reps as you, you know, you want or you think you're going to get. I think now getting these good reps, I think it really has a good comfort just, you know, making sure everyone's in their spot, feeling comfortable, you know, relaying the plays in, getting everyone on the same page, making the right checks. I think that's probably been the biggest area of improvement just from the, the reps you get and watching the film, and I think that's been a big help. Are there any receivers in particular that you've connected well with or that you think stand out? I mean, coming here to Oregon is, I mean, they take care of you. It's fun throwing at these guys, um, guys like Dwayne, Chance, Braylon, Josh, Keenan, BJ, Speed. I mean, everyone. everyone's fun to throw to. They're, they're all, they all do a great job, and so I definitely enjoy throwing at these guys. What's, uh, I guess, the, the time frame, spring is all about reps, right? Did, did they give you any sort of sense of, you know, in terms of the depth chart, how they're going to work that out? Going into I mean, uh, I mean, you guys probably hear this every time. You know, they're just going to, you know, compete, 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 look down at the end of fall and just kind of assess where the chips lie and make some, you know, make some charts then. How big so, an accomplishment would that be for you to be named that, to, to see your name at number two on the depth chart? I mean, yeah, it definitely mean a lot, but I mean, you're competing for two and you always, you know, want to be the one eventually someday in your career. And I think as long as you keep improving and keep moving towards that overall goal, I think that's awesome, and, and it's just kind of a step-by-step -step thing, and, and just kind of want to keep improving and just you know see where the chips fall. It's out of my control at that point. I think it'd probably be easier for guys in your position to think, oh well, you know, I'm probably not going to play for at least a couple of years, and I don't want to worry about you know, basically being ready in a sense. But, but that cliche is always you're yeah. Play away. And I think that's evident, and if not more evident here. I mean, we've all seen it as Oregon Duck fans. What happens when we lose a quarterback? Dennis Dixon, everyone hyping him up, Heisman year, and then something happened. Nate got hurt too, so we're down to third, fourth guy in the, in the meeting room. And I think that's huge here, you know, being two, being three, being four. Year one play, two play, three plays away, and the kind of hits we're taking, the level we play out, I think that's definitely a realistic possibility. Thanks, Jeff. Hey, thank Appreciate you very much. Appreciate